Oh my God, UFC 287 just finished. Israel Adesanya, never ever doubt that man again. Wow, just insane, just insane. As we know, we know the history. Pajera's beaten him three times, stopped him twice. Well, that doesn't matter because Israel Adesanya put a stamp on that, put a nail in the coffin, put him to bed, knocked him out, put him to sleep, sent him to the shadow realm, whatever you want to call it, Israel Adesanya just closed the book. All right, fair enough. There might be one more chapter that is yet to be seen. But listen, let's talk about the fight. We know these, the insane pressure that Izzy must have felt coming into this one. Let's be honest. The guy beaten him three times, stopped him twice. That is a big, big mental hurdle to overcome. Okay, but he went out there. It was a tentative open round, opening round. Both guys exchanging leg kicks, throwing a few shots with the hands, but it was a, largely a kicking affair. Nothing too flush landed. Both guys landing a lot of kicks, attacking the calves and all the rest of it. Very, very tense, technical matchup. Now, when Pajera walked out through the ring, okay, through the crowd, making his ring walk, he stopped. <sighs> loaded the arrow, saw his opponent, boom, let go, shot the arrow. I thought, wow, that was cool as hell. That was cool as hell, but not as cool as the way Easy closed it out because round two started, it was back and forth, both guys having a bit of success, and then, the leg kicks of Pajada, kind of buckled Izzy, kind of buckled, looked like he was hurt, backs him up against the fence, goes to the body, boom, boom, big combination, unloading with hooks, goes down to the body, gets carried away, gets overzealous, thinks he has the man hurt, jumps in with the knee, the knee kind of misses, kind of maybe at most a glancing blow, and then a thunderous right hand, boom, wobbles Pajada, just like at the end of round one, last time out, but then Pajada stays on the feet and then boom, again, another right hand, the right hook at the top of the head, just above the temple, drops him, dives on top of him, wolf, hammer fist, sends him, <sighs> sends him to dreamland. I mean, what a shot, what a performance, what a comeback. Just when you think Izzy was done, whether or not he was playing possum as he claimed, I don't know. Potentially he was playing possum, pretending he was hurt, but that doesn't matter. Those two right hands connected, sits him down, the right hand put him to sleep, and that was it. And you want to talk about doing this, you want to talk about showmanship, you want to talk about charisma, you want to talk about being cool and handling the moment and getting ultimate revenge, the chum, 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 three Three shots, oh my God, just phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. I watched it here with a few friends, with some family. There was about seven or eight of us. Everybody was on their feet. Oh my God. I mean, I keep saying that. Oh my God. What a performance. What a finish in round two. He said he was coming out. He was looking for violence. He was going to get the job done. And hey, listen, all respect to Israel Adesanya because he went out there and he did it in absolute style. Now, takes the microphone off Joe Rogan. And he says, listen, I want everyone to feel like I feel, so happy, right? And you'll never feel like this unless you truly go for it. And that is what Izzy did. I said it all the time. He deserves so much respect, right, for taking that fight again, right? When somebody's beaten you three times, stopped you twice, there's a lot of psychological damage. There was a lot of skeletons in that closet. But Izzy didn't care. He took the fight like a real man, a man that believes in himself, a man that believes that he is better. And he was better. He was the better kickboxer last time out. However, the power of Pajera got the job done. Three times, once by decision, in kickboxing, knocked him out cold, just like that one. And then the third time, TKO stoppage in round five was on the feet. Well, it doesn't matter because this time, Izzy just closed the book. He closed the book and that was that. So congratulations and new Israel Adesanya is back again and again and again and again and again. I think that was a reference to every time that he defended the belt. It was sensational. It was mind blowing. It really was. The pressure, the pressure that man must have felt to go out there and to do that, deliver that kind of knockout over someone the size of Pajera, as skilled as Pajera, and somebody that had that kind of mental dominance over him because he'd beaten him so many times. And to step up to the plate and do that, again, you know, just phenomenal. So, what happens now? Well, what does happen now? There was no interview from Pajera. He was knocked out very much knocked out for a while. So rightly so, they never interviewed him. And the man doesn't speak English anyway. So that is an issue. But let's be honest, more than likely, there's going to be a rubber match. That should be the natural flow of events. They're one and one. 
in mixed martial arts in the UFC. So they've got to do the rubber match. Listen, Juliana Pena is fighting Amanda Nunes, okay? Their main eventing, I believe, in Calgary. That was just announced earlier today. Um, why is that? Well, because they're one on one. Anytime you're one on one, they always do it a third time. So more than likely, we're going to see that again. And let's be honest, I want to see it again. Those two fights were absolutely phenomenal. Some of the best tip technical kickboxing that you're likely to see with four ounce gloves on. And hey, listen, Izzy packs a goddamn punch. That was phenomenal. That right hand that he connected with. And then again, after supposedly being hurt, playing possum or not, he was under pressure. He was taking shots. He was covering up. And then boom, that was just instinct. That was just nastiness. That was just power personified. Two amazing right hands and that hammer fist. My God, it gave me PTSD. It took me back to the days of when I was knocked out from Dan Henderson when he did the flying H-bomb on top of me. Wow. Wow. What an event that was. I'm going to do another video, so keep an eye out for that one, going through all the other fights and particularly talking about Jorge Gamebred Masvidal. Retiring and losing to Gilbert Burns, a tremendous night of fights. UFC 287. The crowd in Miami was sensational. Donald Trump was there. Donald Trump Jr., Mike Tyson, Kid Rock, you name it. The celebrities were out in style, in fashion, and oh my God. Wow. I mean, I'm still hyped. I'm, I'm, the adrenaline is flowing. Israel Adesanya. That is some man. That is some man. Because to go out there again, you know, when you've been beaten off somebody three times, he could have taken a break. He could have took some time off. He could have let the division play out. He could have let Pajara go up against some wrestlers like Robert Whittaker that perhaps would be a bad stylistic matchup. Yeah, and then he comes back and he beats Robert again and he takes, potentially, no offense, Robert, potentially takes the belt off Robert and takes the easy path. But that is, isn't what Izzy did. And that's the story of this fight, you know. Yes, listen, he had the dog collar on, the dog leash, whatever you want to call it, you know, and, and you know, the whole storyline with the Jet Li movie and I'm a dog and I'm going to be unleashed and all the rest of it. But the real story for me is what a man Israel Adesanya is. To go out there when you've lost three times in a row and to take an immediate rematch, only five months later, right, in Miami to go out there and do that. Wow. Take a bow. Israel Adesanya, the middleweight champion of the world and new, puts... Alex Potan Pahar to sleep in style. Let me know what you think about it in the comments because the natural course of events, I would say, has to be a rubber match. The post-fight press conferences are about to start, so I'm going to watch them and I'll give you my thoughts when we dissect all of the information. We'll see what Dana has to say. We'll see what Izzy has to say. And of course, we'll see what Paul Tampa has to say. But listen, it started with Paul Tam being very, very cocky, you know, walking out there, getting the bullseye, shooting the arrow. But hey, listen, that one missed. Izzy's right hands did not miss. They hit the bullseye on several occasions, put him to sleep. My word, as I said, one more time, Israel Adesanya, the middleweight champion of the world, for a bloody reason, for a goddamn reason. Take a bow, my friend. That was sensational. Congratulations. Enjoy the after party. I wish I was there, but I'm not. I'm here. I'm home with my wife and my children, but I'm still pumped. Israel Adesanya. UFC 287 is done. Congratulations to Izzy. Unlucky to Paul Tampajara. My money, we're going to see a third fight, but there it is. Subscribe, ring the bell. I'll see you soon.